Greetings, my friends. This is Gilles Mancillon. I hope you're having a great day. I hope you're feeling the power of this, this full moon that is in Pisces that we're, and also all that is that it can bring, that is about to bring, all the newness that is about to bring. It is, it is very, I feel it very powerfully, for it is very important to continue to cultivate the sense of having a spiritual armor, not to allow yourself to, to, to be vulnerable to the lower, uh, lower energy. For the judgment of others will paralyze us. Huh? It's like, uh, and the judgment we have on the world will tie us down so you know but it will only it will only paralyze us if we allow it a little bit of flight that came in i mean the um haute uh, savoir right? it's a bit on the, the mountain side near the alps it's very it feels really nice there's a lot of dogs and cats yeah they're all getting along really well so so it is very important to 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 do to not uh to not take criticism personally and for, for a lot of people I have a lot of self-criticism and criticism but it's just a reminder to change to learn to grow eh? it's just uh, so so do not take it personally uh, and and when it comes from the inside when there is a criticism that can come from the inside all the uh, all the worries and, and negative thoughts do not belong to us they belong to the matrix it's like those floating thoughts so do not empower them but when there is a profound thought that that seems to be a, like a heavy criticism it is like chrono it is karma it is a guardian group it is not from our guides our guides never criticize us they allow us to to choose whatever we want um, for it is their mission to guide us but not to, uh, to to condition what we should choose but some just to guide but, but the guardian groups have a responsibility to awaken us and sometimes they're like they're kicking us a little bit so just uh, not to take it personally to be gentle with yourself and with other as much as much as possible for everybody's transmuting all very old karma with that needs to be healed and more or less there are some people that have a lot more karma than others but it's this life it is an opportunity for them to release all this karma so it a lot of things are coming up and for all of us as well for me it was the, the my first saturn return in the early 90s i released for years i had it was just powerful karma to release and i released so much more in this past few, few years uh, so, so but I, I do see the point of freedom now for us old souls we we have a lot more to transmute we had hundreds what uh, maybe thousands of incarnations and now that's what we created and created and explored and explored and explored and now we have to bring everything back into harmony so so it is important to to allow that to happen and to have no no judgment upon yourself or as much as little as possible or on others and when you only interfere on situation when you are called for it about anything uh, when you have the lucidity to create a resolution enough light and compassion so because when there's this point so your, your judgment does not come from from ego it comes from lucidity to want to to assist in finding a proper resolution an harmonious resolution to situation so, and, and you need to be a hundred percent in your heart you cannot be half-hearted into the half-wise uh, half-spiritual uh, so for the for the total spiritual blend in all the material aspect as well eh? uh, and so and letting go of all expectation about anything or anyone so that's the best way that life will provide the best possible because otherwise we create limitation in, in, our, in, our, in our level of reality so I come and I'm just offering some perspective some guidance some ideas some wisdom for the the observer of the day is the the message in the bottle to to be to read all the signs that life sends us. Huh? The highest wisdom is here and now. There is this like past and future, but within the here and now, there is so much that is still to be discovered in the letting go of the, of this projection into the future. But for the here and now, we'll tell you what the future will bring, and then be in order for you to prepare. What needs to be understood is the blessings, the, the unexpected miracle, something that is so far beyond what we believe to be able to create or to or to manifest or to deserve. Even it is we have to accept the judgment of our yourself and the, and and the good things, the blessings of of the universe. What we need to do is chop up some wood. It means to get ready to to get ready for what is to come and to to create this this, this uh, um, to envision already the the most ideal situation to move into this paradise timeline and the outcome will be higher power we're going to be able to work more and more with all kinds of higher, higher spiritual beings and higher powers so for now just you have this power to awaken it was Melchizedek, I was, I was talking about that. And so what do you want to awaken? And then once you know what you want to awaken, you can use that mantra or even speak it loud, loudly. Awaken, awaken, awaken. 
I'm awakening, awakening, awakening. Awaken, awaken, awaken. Awaken, awaken, awaken. Awaken, awaken, awaken. What is it is awakening? And, and by doing that, you're awakening something within yourself. What is it you want to awaken? This is the power to, to awaken this, this, this power, this freedom. I was a, so just a little mantra, a little exercise. Awaken, awaken, awaken. <laughs> awaken, I'm awakening. <laughs> so so it, it is, a, I, was, I was in a very public place yesterday and I, I was observing people and I realized that if, through the unity field, if I could look at any group any, any, or any person for, that I do not know, but just from their physical, what they emanate, I could know not what they're, they're thinking, but, but uh, the, the, the general level of their experience and vibration. And so I would see a couple people by passing by I, I would see them depending on what they project I could see I have the frequency the vibration and then the, the little dog that like sniffing around next to them and the little bird that was coming down next to the dog and it's like all those visions through the unified field we, we are able to integrate more difficult with trees their consciousness is so high or mineral but um, we're getting much from them. I'm talking about localized group, not on the. I, I cannot perceive. I could not even think to perceive the totality of human consciousness at this point as a as a planetary logo like Lord Buddha or Sanat Kumara. But but it, it's coming at, at the pace that we are comfortable with. And tomorrow I'm going to try to, to talk about the Silent Observer. For the Silent Observer is a great big ship that is called the Phoenix, but uh, it's also the presence of the I Am presence. For all of the spiritual realm, it's like a Silent Observer. They're observing all things and they're monitoring all things in relationship to human will and, and action. So, so it's like always, and, and so we pass from non-being, from invisible into the consciousness, that so it becomes more visible, God being the, the absolute non-being in many sense. What, what is going on is there is a transformation between uh, the, the electromagnetic in the physical and in the physical realm. Everything is in electromagnetic from the greatest galaxy to the smallest particle. Everything is based on the harmonization of the positive and the negative charge of energy. And, uh, but we're moving into a crystalline field that is unified and the photonic rather than electronic, it will be photonic reality. It's more ethereal sort of reality. For it is, uh, Chiron is actually the planet Chiron, is, is the wounded healer, he will show us our wounds right now, so, and all the traumas, understanding all the traumas are blocked energies that we have within ourselves, until we face it, we, we cannot release it, and then it will plague us, so it's like right now it's an opportunity to release all the traumas, think of love and compassion for yourself, let go of blame, shame, guilt, uh, judgment, uh, self-criticism, or and forgive others or, or as well, and just uh, for, accept the forgiveness, to, and and turn into the light when, when you feel like you have a negative things to deal with just have the presence of, of, of mind to, to ask for the light, to ask for love the, to receive the love of God, the enlightenment uh, and for we moving into there's going to be great event that will happen on the world stage as well the physical stage and the galactic federation is coming closer um, but for us there is there will be so much more to do on the physical plane and on this mission uh, before we are free and able to return to live on the higher ascended realm for we are we, but it has to be a, this this the continuation of this physical existence has to be eventually we tune into the frequency of the soul and the spirit and we move into freedom abundance joy serenity and so it will be it will be very pleasant to continue this to finish this mission because most of the work has been done huh? for we're getting ready for this new plateau and this heavenly freedom and whatever we call the soul test or the fears they actually uh, it's just uh, to, tr to be transmuted into love and light for all the fears uh, are blockages um, uh, and, and it's normal sometimes to feel alone to feel abandoned to, to feel the fear or the doubt or the stress or whatever but it's just about learning to move beyond that and by whichever means and whatever speed we all we all different but we we're learning to become ascended master um, uh, as, uh, teachers of light, uh, light workers, and and the Galactic Federation will come. We are like the the world, the ground crew, huh? and they are the, the 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 space force that will come to to assist to to anchor the, the the whole program of the golden age. So it will be very powerful. But we do have to do the work, the inner work down here. Huh? We are the way shower to become the teacher of light. Huh? Um, and understand people are making mistakes, it's part of the process, do not be intransigent, give yourself of we also, it's like the, this higher, the, the higher cooker, huh? it's like the, the thing that, that burns, there is like, from uh, the, 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 
energetic medicine in you know, Chinese, for instance, is like the, the, the or Buddhist. The, the, the explanation of the world is the inner world is, is created a, a lot of subtle energy and, and it is programmed in a certain way. And, and this cooker is the intransigence to that things have to be a certain way. If somebody makes a mistake, it will be cancelled. This is complete nonsense. It is, uh, it will hurt, it will, it, we have to let go of this intransigence as like to understand that the world is evolving little by little and everybody is doing what they can. But do not take anything personal. Personally, on that level, to, be, to go beyond the intransigence and to be uh, that has to be perfect, it has to be like this, or just to be uh, to be uh, to to be to be supportive and to to love all the light workers and the star seed and the wash showers, regardless if they, if they are not perfect, regardless if they're making mistakes. If you see that someone is has a great intention and wants to do good, even if it, no matter what, even if his consciousness is not on the level, you still want to support, like Plato used to say. You know, or maybe another philosopher, I'm not sure, but um, it was, uh, no, it was Plato. Uh, every small step anyone makes in the right direction is has to be encouraged, even if they're very small step, uh, everybody's growing, and it's like if people are getting better, it's like always a good sign for you. you and your responsibility is your own ascension, your own evolution, and your soul and spirit will inform you what's important for you in relationship to everybody else when it is the time. Uh, so do just uh, enjoy, enjoy your day. It's beautiful here today. I'm going to finish with a little song. It's a, it's a song, a light song of the Rolling Stones that talks about uh, shining uh, like a rainbow. Huh? And all this, we have to master this, to create a rainbow bridge and huh? to, to, to ignite the, the uh, to, to move our consciousness into these higher planes. It's called like a rainbow. She comes in colors everywhere. She combs her hair, she's like a rainbow, coming colors in the air, oh, everywhere, she comes in color. Have you seen her dressed in blue, like the sky in front of you, and her face is like a sail, speck of white so fair and pale? Have you seen a lady fairer? She comes in colors everywhere, she combs her hair, she's like a rainbow, coming colors in the air, oh, everywhere, she comes in color. Have you seen her all in gold, like a queen in days of old? She shoots color all around, like a sunset going down. Have you seen a lady fairer? She comes in colors everywhere. She combs her hair. She's like a rainbow, coming colors in the air. Oh, everywhere. She comes in color, she's like a rainbow, coming colors in the air, oh everywhere, she comes in color. So um, I hope you're feeling good and uh, you, you continue to cultivate this, this, this appreciation for what is to come, yet continue to, to create, a, not shield around your heart, but shield uh, against, uh, to, to have uh, enough mental discipline not to allow uh, the, the, any lower force to interfere within your joy. Metatron was saying uh, you, you shouldn't give more than 15 seconds to someone who wants to take away your joy in life. Huh? So, so just 15 seconds is as much as you can give to, to lower energy then you, it is important that otherwise you gain momentum and rhythm so we're learning that and we're transmuting much and uh, thank you very much for liking sharing commenting and subscribing and thank you very much for your donations if you want a private session you can send me an email i'm going to see what the, to pull one more card from the to see what the archangel wanted to so it's, it's about releasing this response if, if we continue to, to 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 always be in relationship to what others want to, to please everybody else we, we find ourselves exhausted and it says uh, ask the ask the angel to put the right people people capable to assist you on your way you are working too much you're always doing too much to please others 
So relax and take it easy. Because even even in terms of work, uh, we're going to move into a state where, where uh, working three days a week will be plenty. Because people, if they have four days to relax or four days a week, um, to, to work a lot less. Because when people have more time for themselves and to be relaxed, they're so much more efficient. They create so they, it's so much more enjoyable to do what they have to do. And then when they are stressed and overworked, and so just take your time for yourself. To take your time to ease your mind, to relax, to find the inner peace. Uh, even if there is a, th those challenges, maybe sometimes on the outside world, and eh, just uh, do connect to this. Uh, this uh, there, is, there is many ways to connect to our higher self, and, and, and it will unfold more and more. It's going to become more and more clear. I thank you very much. I wish you a wonderful day, and I'll talk to you later. Namaste.